The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? I'd love to, Inspector, but I don't really have the authority. Moreover, the guests were promised exclusivity. If I let you up there, I'll never hear the end of it. Hmm, that's a good point. If they give me guff, I can just tell them that they're obstructing justice. That has a nice ring to it. Let me just set you up with VIP guest floor access. Done. What floor would you like to visit? If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking, I've already got one. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. The charred fragments of a letter lies at the bottom of this waste basket. Your observation is correct and quite astute. Hmm. Quite frustrating. Reminds me of my seminary days. Knowing all the needed information is contained in the variables at hand, but lacking the key to unlock their meaning. Someone burned this letter shortly after Halcyon Helen's death. Time A, single footprint, size 10, tossball cleat sized. The soil in this residue contains a very high concentration of oxygen. Well done, Inspector. The weather monitoring station at the pilot house substitutes for a terraformer. The soil in his footprint likely came from there. What in the... Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy. A woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Woolly cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. Second discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. An accurate observation, Inspector. This woolly cow is suffering from symptoms consistent with a hangover. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Ragers Tossball Club. A brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers Minus one. Zeke Hannigan, Rizzo's Ranger's 16th back. Pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? 
Oh, you must be that inspector people have been talking about. It's a damn shame about Miss Helen. She was always real good to me and the rest of the Rangers. Bertie's taking it pretty hard. Miss Helen was the love of his life. So, what did you want to know? Oh, Bertie was mad about Helen. He was certifiable. The big galoot loved Helen about as much as he loved the game. Trouble is, Bertie was not blessed with an abundance of temper. Helen kept Bertie steady. If he lost his temper around her, it'd be because something broke between the two of them. What? Law, no. Bertie's got a fierce temper, but there's no way he'd ever have laid a finger on Miss Helen. Miss Helen was outspoken. She made her share of enemies on account of her expressing herself. Just between you and me? I heard rumors the Prophet never much cared for Helen's brand of blunt honesty. I'm ashamed to admit it, but... Me and a couple of the other Rangers spent the night in Constable Keen's cells down at the spaceport. We didn't do anything serious, just a bit of pranks and vandalism. It's what usually happens when we all get to drinking. Guess Constable Keen saw things a bit differently and had us hauled off. No, we lost him somewhere along the way. Or maybe he managed to get away? I can't rightly remember. But he was definitely not sharing a cell with us. That much I know. What can I do for you? Dang, that's impressive. Impressive as always. Initiating banter protocol. Now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Burbage 3001 is trained to recognize all board. Burbage 3001's programming is frequently upgraded to adhere to board certified standards. The most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer. Woolrich, Banter, Protocol, Exhausted, Burbage 3001, was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the Aetherwave serial market. This unit's programming is based on Helen's most famous roles, Burbage 3001. Anything Halcyon Helen can do, this unit can do slightly worse. This unit has been programmed to simulate existential dread. Watch Burbage 3001 contemplate its mortality in the critically acclaimed drama. Waiting for results. This unit has not yet completed its grief cycles. Random. About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing 
Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. How does the scenery taste? Good, I trust. Uh, wait a moment. You're not wearing a bellhop's ID, which must mean you're not Owen's understudy. That man can't even be relied upon to find his own replacement. Oh, no, this is curious indeed. Who are you, and how did you get in here? And yet, you found your way to my humble hotel room. Why do I feel there's more of a reason for you to be here than you let on? I think I know, you cheeky little sprat. Now, what shall I sign first? Your weapon? Your wallet? Or perhaps something, uh... A little more personal? Undergarment signatures have been popular of late, or so I've heard. Do you mean to say you are not a fan? Well, then how did you get in here? The only staffer cleared for guest room entry is the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh. Oh! <clears throat> Hello. Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. <laughs> Understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Bane, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I, I might even give you a straight answer. Oh. Have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. I did indeed. With Halcyon Helen parading her fame about, I was left without an acting partner. Burbage is no exception. His acting protocols <laughs> were nothing short of a joke. So, I decided to make some modifications. Installing him with some of my old serial quotes has, I think, improved his range. The way he bungled about with that weapon of his hardly befitted a dissident, so I modified it as well. He's much quicker on the draw now, though he's still a machine. I'm quite used to being breathlessly watched. Certainly, but one quick question before we begin, if I may. How was it that Bellamy met her end? How? How awful! Whoever did this must have been quite heartless. Oh, come now, Inspector, what do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Respectfully, Inspector, it is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. All actors have their methods. And this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial, the unemployed Cometh was shot on sight. That makes it um, a few weeks. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. I'll answer whatever you wish. Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. 
I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's... I'll ask you this. If you'd been the star of cinema for years, then suddenly found yourself scrounging for bit parts while a younger person stole the limelight, how would you feel? In short, the two of us weren't close. But that's not to say my dislike of her was so extreme that I tried to do anything drastic. Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. Indeed. The agonizing bowel pain was most undignifying. While I've certainly had no shortage of inadequate hotel meals, this was most explicitly pronounced. I suspect poison. And who would be most likely to poison me but Chef Anwar? Oh, we've clashed almost non-stop about his slop preparation. He must have tainted my meal in retaliation. How alarming! Whoever targeted her was certainly targeting me. I can only thank my ironclad constitution that I'm standing here before you. Very well, then. discrepancy detected nearby. This is a bottle of unreleased Rizzo's product. Helen appears to have attempted to use it to spell something as she expired, but all she managed was a sticky bee. This hypothesis is plausible, but requires additional information. Mr. Bertie Holcomb is indeed known to frequent places of leisure and hospitality, as rare as they are in Halcyon. Correct. Bertie Blackhole Holcomb is a registered guest at the Grand Colonial Hotel. Accessing Guest Database B, the Grand Colonial Hotel is proud to serve the following VIPs. Bertie, comma, Black Hole, Burbage 3001. This evidence has been recorded for later reference. Now generating pre-approved compliment. Splendid work, Inspector. discrepancy detected nearby. I... <laughs> Analysis of this stovetop reveals an alarming degree of grease buildup. Approximating proximity to volatile gases and chemicals. Chances of an explosive combustion upon next use currently at 92.9%. Wait, 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 bad idea! Performing scan. Gaslight appears to have gone out some time ago. Chance of explosive combustion without gaslight, 0.01%. Searching slug work logs. No work log found. Creating conjecture, Slug has likely not fixed this issue due to a lack of responsibility on the part of their employees. Most corporations have regular cleaning procedures to prevent damage to company property. Slug, already unlike most corporations in a variety of ways, does not. That or the employees tasked with inspecting are shirking their duties. 
For shame. Yes? Are you here for the double rack of smoked sprat? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you'll have to wait. Oh, don't give me that look. Let me see if I can pencil you in for later. Actually, you're, you're the inspector? Here? Why? I, I mean, you may ask me whatever you want. I have nothing to hide. Of course I did. I would never allow anyone else to touch the meals of so important a guest. Oh. Oh my law, this is the end, isn't it? My mother always warned me that the culinary world was too dangerous, but I didn't heed her warnings. Okay, okay, I wasn't the one who did it, but I might have been mistaken when I said I was constantly watching Helen's food. Spencer Woolrich and Bellhop Owens were underfoot in the kitchen as I was preparing Helen's meal. Either one of them could have tampered with the food when I was fetching ingredients. Well, it's a breach of professionalism, of course. Why else would I worry about it? Well, I suppose that's as good a point as any I've heard. I may have taken some time to engage in a teensy bit of recreational drinking, and consequently, I may have been somewhat less than coherent after preparing Helen's meal. Yes, but not specifically. Owens often procures exotic ingredients from the creatures at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. Our guests can be rather... particular. Let's not talk about the incident with the raptodon pheromone glands. It's always hard to say when Owens might be back. If I were you, I'd make a trek to the reserve myself. Otherwise, who knows how long you'll have to wait. I understand your reluctance, but... Oh! Oh! I just remembered! The kitchen security camera. It'll prove I'm telling the truth about everything. Constable Keen has access to the security footage in her office at the spaceport. If you visit her, you can figure out what truly happened with Helen's meal. Mr. Woolrich often finds the hotel's meals... wanting. He seems to enjoy complaining in person. While I could appreciate someone with a discerning palate for once, I believe that Mr. Woolrich simply enjoys the attention he gets from us. Though, don't tell him I said as much. If you wish to speak with him, Mr. Woolrich can most likely be found in his suite on the VIP guest floor. He's usually there if he's not poking around here. Thank you for your understanding, Inspector. I'm sure you'll find the true culprit before long. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and... Welcome to the Piraeus Spaceport.
I don't like the... Hey, you! We've been looking for you! And by we, I mean slug! Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Sluglight Underground don't like that much. Sluglight? Would that be some form of bioluminescence? No? Nothing? Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! Well, you ain't gonna stick that nose anywhere ever again. Wooly piss! Why'd we decide to do this? Hey, any chance we could reschedule? Yeah, maybe do this whole showdown business? Uh, never? I... Uh, don't need to tell us twice. Uh, come on, all. Let's get the hell out of here.
unit has been programmed to offer encouragement during moments of emotional strain. Banter protocol activated. We'll find this rat bastard's responsible, Inspector.